Looking closely, this woman seemed quite old. Based on the wrinkles, she wasn't in her 40s, but she was at least in her mid to late 30s. She knew me. How? I was a bit embarrassed, but I maintained my composure as I looked at the woman. You must be mistaken. My name is Yu Zhonghok. Kim Dutch is the name of the guy I hate the most. Yu Zhonghok? Yes, so tell your leader not to talk nonsense. Just tell her, even if you're not sure what I mean. I looked to the side and saw Han Xiong watching me with an absurd expression. I winked at her. If it was Han Xiong, she would know what to do from now on. The woman opened her mouth. I already know you're Kim Dokcha. Stop the unnecessary lies. The character Han Xiong has confirmed that the statement is true. Han Xiong nodded towards me. This woman came because she knew for certain who I was. The king said she was entrusted this meteorite to you. It was unexpected. She knew me, and now she was giving me the meteorite? Who are you? We are the people of the Wanderer King. That woman over there is your king? The woman nodded. I looked at the tall mass woman in the distance. Looking closely, I felt a sense of deja vu. But there was something strange. King, you don't seem to have a flag. The king doesn't dwell on such things. What was this answer? The king said we will take care of the disaster in the north, but she will leave the other four disasters to you. Before I could ask anything, the woman turned and left like her words were over. Han Suing shouted, Hey, what are you suddenly saying? Shouldn't you explain before you go? Despite the shouts, the woman kept walking away with a turned back. Han Suing looked at me and asked, What is this? Do you know that woman? How can that be? A quietly activated character list. This person isn't registered in character list. You can check the information of the person by updating character list. Do you want to update it? It seemed the update cycle was back. I nodded. The update has been completed. Some people will be added to the dictionary. Then a window popped up. Character information. Name, Cho Yongnan. Age, 37 years old. Constellation support. First spiritualist of Joseon. Private attribute. Escape prisoner, general. Officer of justice, rare. Exclusive skills. Prison escape level 3. Patience level 6. Execution time level 3. Shooting level 4. Stigma. Transformation occult art level 2. Overall stats. Physique level 30. Strength level 34. Agility level 36. Magic power level 28. Overall evaluation. The current comprehensive evaluation is currently in progress. Starter pack is currently applied. A growth package is currently applied. Look at this. The first spiritualist of Joseon. The constellation first spiritualist of Joseon is looking at you with wary eyes. I didn't think there would already be a woman with the Tao sorcerer, John Wuchi, as a sponsor. In addition, she had the fairly good attribute of Officer of Justice, although it was less than the judge. If the Spartan it was this good, then what was the king like? I immediately looked at the tall woman. The information of this person isn't registered in character list. The moment I met the gaze of the woman in the mask, a stinging pain flashed through my head. I reflexively looked away from the woman. My heart beat quickly. The fourth wall instinctively shook. The woman caused an even greater shaking than Son Mimu. Despite having self-rationalization, I didn't want to take the risk, because I wasn't sure of the stigma's performance. Han Xing asked me anxiously, Hey, what is it? Never mind. The fourth wall responded to people who had an important influence on me in real life. In other words, that woman was someone I knew. But there was only one person in this world who gave me a bigger trauma than Son Mimu. I see. I expected. She survived. However, I didn't expect her to be in Seoul. It was why she was able to make a large force and why they were wearing prison uniforms. It was convincing if it was that person. The wanderers soon began to move. They aligned themselves and headed back to the way they came. It was marched with no hesitation. A loyalty could be felt from the group. The leader moved at the forefront of the group. A crown like the Tyrant King. A woman who was different from the King of Beauty. I looked at the ruins they moved through. They were the broken coin farms of the survivors they spared. They placed blankets and necessities besides the survivors. Survivors watched the leaving wanderers with awe-filled eyes. I had forgotten. A person didn't need a flag or to sit on a throne to become king. In this kingless world, there was still a king. After a while, I examined the yellow meteorite they left behind. A yellow meteorite. The meteorite, also called the Moonstone, was usually a star piece that hovered in other dimensions. It was truly the same as I read in the novel. It was from the exhilarating magic power I felt when I touched it. The faint light of the opaque interior and the white stripes all over the meteorite. The yellow meteorite clearly had the power to counter the disaster. An assistant message was heard. The Moonstone wants to provide you with a high level strength. I refused the meteorite's offer and the power returned to the meteorite. 
The Moonstone basically had the power of the night, and the outside species received this power. Perhaps the cannibals who received the power of the night were able to evolve to the outside species, the werewolves. The Moonstone gives off a feeling of familiarity. However, the real use of this meteorite wasn't simply to evolve the outside species. Even a few hundred werewolves couldn't prevent the future disasters. Of course, a few thousand would help, but then another disaster would come from the high number of outside species and the power of the Demon Kings. I feel like a volunteer. Hey, did you find anything? As I was examining the meteorite, Hunsung was taking care of the survivors lying nearby. It was a little unexpected, but she was probably targeting coins. The constellations of the Absolute Good System are touched by Hansung's good works. In a place filled with the Demon King's household, the donations were bigger than usual. Indeed, a human's double-sidedness was profound. Among the constellations of the Absolute Good System, there might be the Abyssal Black Flame Dragon. The second sponsor selection was coming up, so Hansung would be looking at him. I looked around and said, The avatars are useful. Dozens of avatars were quickly organizing their surroundings. Corpses of the outside species were burned, while the terrible cages and human butcher stores were also demolished. Sharing coins while getting a nosebleed. Hansung wiped the blood and asked, When are you going to tell me? What? I'm talking about that. I realized her question wasn't about the meteorite. Right? Are you still worrying about that? How can I not care? There were two types of readers that she didn't know about. In addition, there seemed to be a connection between the two. It was natural for Hansung, who was the last to get off, to pay attention. Who knows? Don't you know? I only know the woman, the leader of the group. The Wanderer King? I nodded and said, That person isn't someone who got off. To be precise, she never read the original. What? Then how does she know the contents of the plot? By talking directly to me. Hansung looked like she'd been hit in the back of the head with a hammer. You told others about the story? Why? I needed something to tell her when I met her. I gave her a moment before continuing. Because I had nothing else to say to her. Maybe she sensed my dark mood, making Han Tsung hesitate as she was about to question me. She probably had a lot she wanted to ask me. Who was the woman, and what was her relationship with me? Han Tsung was silent for a while before speaking again. I don't know what your relationship with that woman is, but is it okay to leave her alone? There are more people besides us who know the future. I understood her concerns, but it should be fine. At the very least, that woman was a person with principles, and she couldn't carelessly use the future information. I knocked on the moonstone and opened my mouth. Rather, there's something more important. From now on, we'll wake this up. What? This thing? Hansing watched me like I was insane. You want to wake up the disaster? Why are you so startled? Didn't you do it before? Hansing had incited the Night of the Prophets and awakened the fire dragon, Lesser Igneal. Hey, I picked a small disaster. This one. It isn't a disaster. Then what is it? it? Looks like you were negligent on your plagiarism. Don't you remember? Do you really not know what will appear here when the scenario starts? Hansung stared at me before turning on her phone and reading her own novel. Uh, this, perhaps? Have you realized? You copied it well. Shut up. But the main scenario hasn't opened up yet. Is it okay to do this? Moreover, what if a plausibility report occurs? It won't happen. The intermediate Dokubi hates you. Then I'll deal with him. Right now he'd be busy being reprimanded by the Bureau. We'll start injecting mana. Based on my calculations, he'll hatch in ten hours. I'll take four hours, and you'll take six. Why do I have to inject mana for six hours? Isn't your magic power level higher? At this moment, the number of avatars decreased dramatically. I noticed something. Tell me honestly, what level is your magic power? Why should I tell you? It's information needed to clear the scenario. The provisions of the temporary contract will take effect. Hansing's expression distorted. Level 55? I was honestly surprised. I thought it'd be over level 40 because you could control dozens of avatars. It's level 55. This is almost approaching the scenario limit. Her physique and strength were relatively low, so she must have been putting all her coins into magic power. I'm changing it. I'll take two hours, you'll take eight. Hey, that's unfair! And I've run out of magic power. I opened the Dokubi bag and bought a few intermediate magic power recovery potions. Then drink this. What is this? Coin item. Is your sponsor huge? You're just giving something like this to me? I'm the one who's big. Hansing glanced at me. Did you put anything strange in it? Then I'll start first. I touched the moonstone and started injecting magic power. Ten hours later, the guy inside the meteor would wake up. Open my eyes at the sound of someone waking up. 
Hey, get up quickly. That guy started to move. Hansoon shouted with a nervous face while touching the meteorite. The meteorite started to crack. It's a phenomenon similar to the one the fire dragon broke out of the meteorite. It wasn't an aggressive reaction, but if I said one word wrong, both of us might die here. A brilliant light emerged from the moonstone, lifting up some of the darkness of the night. It was an awakening of a powerful presence that gave off a heavy pressure just looking at it.